Have you ever wondered how our world has evolved over the centuries? This is a question that has gripped the minds of many, and today we have a unique lens to view this evolution. Maps. Yes, you heard it right. Maps. They are more than just tools for navigation. They are powerful storytellers, encapsulating the spirit of their time, reflecting the knowledge, beliefs and aspirations of the people who created them. Our journey will span across epochs, from the dawn of civilization to the digital age, with each map revealing a piece of our world's jigsaw puzzle. We'll explore ancient maps, etched with the mysteries of uncharted territories. Then we'll dive into the intricacies of the Middle Ages and Renaissance maps, teeming with a blend of science and art. And finally, we'll gaze into modern and future maps, illustrating our unending quest for understanding and mastery. Prepare to embark on a journey through time as told by 500 maps. Imagine a time when the world was a vast, unexplored mystery. A time when the boundaries of knowledge were as sketchy as the perimeters of the known world on a map. The ancient maps were not just tools for navigation, but they were also a reflection of the understanding and perceptions of the world at that time. Let's journey back to one of the earliest known maps. A clay tablet from ancient Babylon, dating back to the 6th century BC. This map wasn't just a geographical tool, but an expression of Babylonian cosmology. The world as they knew it was a disk, surrounded by a bitter river and a circular mountain range. Beyond these mountains, they believed, lay the realm of the unknown. Now let's shift our gaze to ancient Greece. The Greeks took a more scientific approach to cartography. Anaximander, a scholar from the 6th century BC, is credited with creating the first map of the world. His map, unfortunately lost to time, was reportedly a circular disk, with Greece at its center. This map was a testament to the Greek belief that they were at the center of the world, both geographically and culturally. Finally, we move eastward to ancient China. Here, maps were more than just geographical representations. They were philosophical instruments, reflecting the Chinese belief in the harmony between heaven and earth. The earliest Chinese map we know of is a silk map from the second century BC. This map, like its Babylonian and Greek counterparts, depicted China at the center with concentric circles representing the seas and outer lands. These early maps, rudimentary as they may seem to us now, laid the foundation for our modern understanding of geography. They were the first attempts to make sense of the vast, unexplored mystery that was the world. They captured not just the physical geography, but also the beliefs, superstitions and cultural biases of the civilizations that created them. From these early beginnings, our understanding of the world began to take shape. Each map, a stepping stone in the journey of discovery, leading us closer to the world as we know it today. As centuries passed, the world as depicted on maps started to become more familiar. We're now stepping into the Middle Ages and the Renaissance, a period that brought significant changes to map making. Let's time travel back to the Middle Ages first. It was a time when maps were not just geographical tools, but also carried religious and symbolic meanings. The Mappa Mundi, or Cloth of the World, was a popular form of map during this era. These maps painted a picture of the world as seen through the lens of faith, with Jerusalem often depicted at the center. But as the Middle Ages progressed, a shift began to occur. The dawning of the Renaissance brought a new light to map making. The age of discovery and exploration fueled the need for more accurate maps. Cartographers started to incorporate the knowledge brought back by explorers, resulting in maps that began to resemble the world as we know it today. One of the most significant advancements during this period was the introduction of the Ptolemaic map. Named after the Greek geographer Ptolemy, this map was based on a grid of longitude and latitude, a concept familiar to us today. As we moved further into the Renaissance, maps became even more detailed and accurate. Another major development was the use of maps in navigation. Mariners started to rely on port and charts, which were detailed navigational maps based on compass directions and estimated distances observed by the pilots at sea. These charts were a crucial tool for sailors during the era of exploration. But the Middle Ages and the Renaissance were not just about geographical accuracy. These maps were also works of art, adorned with elaborate decorations and illustrations. They were a testament to the artistic prowess of the cartographers of the time, and so, as the Renaissance drew to a close, the era of exploration had truly kicked off. 
These maps, far more advanced than their predecessors, were more than just tools. They were symbols of mankind's insatiable curiosity and desire to understand the world around us. The era of exploration had begun and with it, our world was becoming smaller. In the blink of an eye, from the perspective of history, our world transformed again. As we journeyed into the modern era, the art and science of map making took a quantum leap forward. The 20th century brought us the advent of satellite imagery, a technology that revolutionized the way we perceive our planet. Unveiling a bird's eye view of the world, satellite images allowed us to appreciate our home in a way that was once the stuff of dreams. But this was just the beginning. As we entered the digital age, maps transitioned from parchment and paper to screens and pixels. This advancement, coupled with the power of the internet, gave birth to a new era of map making, digital mapping. Digital mapping, in essence, is a dynamic representation of the world around us. It's not just about depicting the land and sea, but also about visualizing data, trends and phenomena. It's about understanding our world in a way that's interactive and engaging, in a way that reflects the ever-changing nature of our planet. Consider Google Earth, a tool that has brought the world to our fingertips. With a few clicks, we can zoom in on the Great Wall of China, the Grand Canyon, or our own backyards. We can explore the depths of the ocean, the heights of Mount Everest, or the bustling streets of New York City. In the modern era, maps have become tools of discovery, helping us to understand the complexities of our planet in unprecedented detail. They've become a mirror reflecting our world, a mirror that we can carry in our pockets, a mirror that can reveal not just where we are, but who we are. And it's not just about exploring the physical world. Modern maps are also allowing us to navigate the vast landscape of human knowledge, from the intricacies of the human genome to the sprawling networks of the internet. So, in the grand scheme of things, maps have come a long way. They've evolved from simple sketches on cave walls to sophisticated digital renderings that capture the world in all its complexity and beauty. Today, we can explore every corner of our planet without leaving our homes. Ah, but what of the future? How will our world be portrayed in the maps of tomorrow? As we venture into the uncharted territories of the future, the realm of cartography is bound to experience transformations, much like it has throughout history. Imagine a world where maps are not just two-dimensional representations, but immersive, three-dimensional experiences. Enter the domain of virtual reality maps. These are not merely maps, but entire worlds in themselves, waiting to be explored. They can transport us anywhere, from the depths of the Mariana Trench to the towering peaks of Mount Everest, or from the comfort of our homes. The boundaries of space and time blur as we traverse through the landscapes of the past, present and even the future, witnessing the world evolve right before our eyes. And why limit ourselves to Earth? As we inch closer to becoming an interplanetary species, the need for extraterrestrial maps becomes more pressing. Imagine a detailed topographical map of Mars or a navigational chart for the asteroid belt. These maps would not only aid in space exploration and colonization, but also deepen our understanding of the universe. Furthermore, consider the impact of artificial intelligence on cartography. Advanced algorithms could predict future geographical changes, from shifting coastlines due to climate change to urban expansion. These predictive maps would not only enlighten us about our planet's future, but could also guide our actions today, helping us make informed decisions for a sustainable tomorrow. The possibilities are endless, limited only by our imagination. Each advancement in mapping technology could redefine our perception of the world, just as the maps of the past have shaped our understanding of history. As we look to the future, one thing is certain. Our journey of discovery is far from over. As we continue to explore, to chart, and to comprehend the world around us, remember that each map is more than just lines and symbols. It's a testament to our insatiable curiosity, our quest for knowledge, and our enduring spirit of discovery. We've journeyed from the ancient world to the uncharted territories of the future, from the crude yet imaginative sketches of early civilizations to the detailed and precise depictions of the Middle Ages and the Renaissance. We've explored the dynamic metamorphosis of modern maps, reflecting the scientific advancements and geopolitical shifts of our time. And we've dared to dream venturing into the realm of future maps, visualizing the uncharted territories of tomorrow. Throughout this journey, one thing remains evident. Maps are more than mere geographical representations. 
They are mirrors of our understanding, windows into our past, and compasses guiding us into the future. They reflect not only our knowledge of the world, but also our place within it, our dreams, our fears, and our aspirations. As we continue to chart our course through history, remember, each map is not just a depiction of the world, but a chapter in its story.